So the takeaway from that is that even if you're a young violinist, you shouldn't be shying away from using your fourth finger because the more you use it correctly, of course, make sure that you're stepping and your finger is curved and you're stepping with the tip of the finger curved like this, okay? Don't let the finger collapse, right? The more you're using your finger correctly and stepping, you're gonna build strength and you're gonna build um, agility and speed uh, on that fourth finger. And so you heard the difference that using um, using, vibra using vibrato, using the fourth finger alone sounds a lot better than using the open E, right? You heard the difference versus and even if you don't have vibrato yet because you are just starting to learn and your teacher can help you or you are watching and you're really trying to do your best and you're putting that finger down correctly, right? Even the finger alone without vibrato still sounds better than the open E string. There's nothing wrong with open E string, but fourth finger does sound warmer. It sounds better, more qualitative, um, more pleasant to the ear, less metallic, okay? Right? Listen to the difference. So, definitely a, a really good thing to get in the habit. Every once in a while, more and more and more, start using it, and then it, it just gets easier with time, okay? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching that video. If there's any questions you have or anything I can help you with, I am only a comment away. So, remember to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.